a winter wonderland out right now. Oh gosh. I forgot, everything is like ice. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone open up as many hand warmers. It's just very cold out. I got myself these big orange stakes. I'm gonna stick them in the ground and keep the shelter from blowing around because we're supposed to get some pretty high winds tonight, maybe even up to 50 miles an hour. Perfect. All right, we got the shelter secured down. And it is a cold, frigid day in the middle of this field. We're supposed to get some crazy winds tonight. We were supposed to get a bunch of snow, but that might have changed, but I am still prepared and this is going to be a perfect test for the cheese box camper. I did upgrade just a few things on the camper. You can see I have this like duct tape lip right here just to cover this big crack right here to prevent any rain or snow from coming in. I also added a lip of this duct tape kind of an overhang so it really closes up better to keep out any rain or snow. You can see it's already catching a little bit of snow right there. And I also did get some bigger wheels. I'm testing these ones out. They're, I think, an inch or two inches bigger in diameter, but they were the same bolt pattern. So I'm trying these out. They're air filled and they seem to be a lot easier to pull. And also on the inside of the shelter, if you notice here, we got these beams here, we got this beam, and then we also got the other beam in the back. And I attached them with just some metal brackets right here. So the roof is a lot stronger now. So I'm really not worried about snow or anything like that. It is just a frigid day today. It's right around zero degrees Fahrenheit. And now it's time to go inside and set up camp. So let's just close this door. Let's go ahead and start setting up camp. Every once in a while, a huge blast of wind just shakes this whole thing. Oh man, it is cold. Even this thing doesn't want to undo itself. All right, we got this foam mattress pad. And then on top of that, I'm going to use this little blow up air mattress pad just for an extra layer of insulation. There we go. Last, we got the sleeping bag itself. And I got myself a different sleeping bag for this excursion because it's going to be real cold. Whew. I definitely hear the wind outside. I don't necessarily feel it. There's a little bit of draft coming from around the door right here but it's not too bad in here it doesn't feel like it's zero degrees outside but it is <laughs> all right we got the camper set up and how am i gonna stay warm tonight you ask let me tell you i brought myself a generous assortment of hand warmers so let's start opening these up because it's starting to get pretty chilly when in doubt use like 30 hand warmers oh yeah some of these are like big things i don't know if i've ever seen anyone open up 
as many hand warmers. I'm pretty much gonna shove these in my sleeping bag and just hang out with them. And I think they're gonna be beautiful. For safety, I also grabbed myself a couple air gas detectors. This one, if you can see, it's got a thermometer. It says it's 35 in here, which is actually not bad <laughs> when it's like almost zero outside and it says 35% humidity. And this is a CO2 detector, carbon dioxide. And on this detector right here, it detects uh, the oxygen, uh, carbon monoxide, uh, I don't know what this is, and then like explosive gases. And this is just to make sure I don't run out of any air or anything like that. I'm just gonna sleep with them right by my head over there. I've been inside hanging in the warm and I didn't even realize it's already starting to get dark out there. I also brought myself some security cameras that I want to set up outside. It was supposed to snow quite a bit this morning but I think the weather changed. I will just see if anything cool catches on camera. They have their own little battery pack. We're gonna just let it sit and record overnight. Our cameras are ready. Let's go take them out. See, I have the cameras right here, and my scarf is blowing, and then I got the shelter right here, and it is cold out. It is just very cold out, but uh, let's go ahead and go back inside. Oh, it is cold. All right, we're back inside. Got my camera set up and honestly I don't want to have to go back outside unless I really have to because it is very cold but I am also very hungry and it's time for some Three Amigos veggie stew. It's about zero degrees Fahrenheit outside and with the wind chill I think it's in the negative like 20s or something like that. So pretty crazy. So I got myself this very tiny little stove just because I'm not that comfortable using that large stove inside of here. And I have a feeling my alarm ooh, is gonna yell at me. I got our stove on. And yes, I did bring a fire extinguisher. So I ended up cracking the door a little bit. My gas alarm was yelling at me for cooking in here. So yeah, once this boils, we'll close up the door and have ourselves a nice hot meal. I've definitely never been camping in temperatures like this. It's so cold that even my little water bottle, it kept freezing and I could barely get it open. I just have a bundle of hand warmers, which is amazing feeling on my hands and they're starting to get real hot now. Bubble, bubble, bubble. We got boiling water. Oh wow, big chunklets. I'm supposed to seal this back up. Now we just gotta wait like eight minutes. Dinner is served. We can open it. I am hungry and excited. It's so good. My spoon is freezing. <laughs> this is amazing. I was honestly a little bit worried if the water would even cook this because it's so cold. I was wondering if it would like cool down too quick but I did fine honestly being inside here if it wasn't cold I would have no idea that it was snowing or no idea that it's so windy outside every once in a while a big breeze comes and kind of jiggles the walls but it's not so bad I usually do night walks but I don't think I'm gonna do a night walk tonight it is absolutely frigid out I don't want to dilly dally when it's this cold out. This is very good. I needed something just warm, filling. Ah, keep me going. A little bit of after dinner dessert. I think it's frozen. Come on, pile. Warm it up for me. Ooh, a little melted. got chocolate in one hand a whole bunch of hand warmers in the other I'm hanging out in my little camper it's a wonderful night I am ready to crawl in my sleeping bag and this time I remembered to bring an inflatable pillow 
Here we go. Ooh, every once in a while I can hear the wind just shake this thing crazy. Feels good to get out of those. Can't forget my hand warmers. <laughs> But yeah, it's just been a wonderful night. I'm just relaxing a little bit. I brought a tablet that I put in a Ziploc bag because I don't know if moisture is going to kill this thing. And I'm just going to relax, watch some videos, and just get cozy in my little sleeping bag and uh, prepare for <laughs> the cold night. Midnight Jason here. And yep, I can't sleep. I'm not cold or anything, just can't sleep. I'm watching some YouTube. And that MRE over there has caught my eye. I know there's some snacks in there, and I want some snacks. I brought this just because it's always good to have backup food. If I was cooking dinner and I accidentally like ruined the dinner or like dumped it all out by mistake or something, it's always good to just have backup. This is the vegetable crumbos with pasta and taco style sauce. Ooh, jalapeno cashews, cappuccino powder. Oh, I actually have hot water in a thermos. I might use that. Tortillas, apple sauce, a first strike bar, and peanut butter. I'm gonna have this first strike bar. Oh gosh. I forgot, everything is like ice. I need to warm this up. Can nuts freeze? I don't know. Spicy cashews. I always wondered if spicy food makes you feel warmer in cold. I don't know. A little bit of midnight coffee, probably not the best, but it sounds the best. Oh man, is this leaking? Oh gosh, it's just going outside. There's nothing like making coffee than having it spill all over your new sleeping bag. It smells good in here. Good thing MREs come with some wet naps. Oh no. <laughs> Go figure, it's a block of ice. That's hilarious. It also has this, I believe it's just like applesauce in like a tube. Whoa, <laughs> everything's exploding. Mm. This thing's pretty much a slushy right now. I got some tea actually. It's very cozy in here. Very cozy. All right, so this is the heater. Now I pour in some water and fingers crossed this thing isn't leaking either. Otherwise, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you gotta close it up, slip it in this little home for now. I'm gonna just lean it up against my boot. I've been holding this strike bar by a bunch of hand warmers. So hopefully I can take a bite out of it now without just uh, biting frozen thing. Mmm. Not too bad. Food is good when you can actually eat it. I think my MRE is warm enough. Yeah, this feels warm instead of frozen. Very red. Looks like uh, chili. Tastes like chili. Not bad. Mmm. Just finished my midnight meal and now it's time to go back to sleep. See you in the morning. Good morning. I don't believe it's light out. It is. That was honestly nice and toasty all night long. Got a whole bunch of hand warmers in here that are, some of them are still warm. On the top cover, you can tell my breath froze. <laughs> on the top cover from me breathing out all night, but honestly, I was really warm inside this thing. There was not a point where I felt like I was too cold or anything. I wonder if my tea, oh yeah, I left a little bit of tea in here. <laughs> this is just a rock. 
But yeah, I slept pretty well last night, can't complain. I don't feel cold right now. I'm sure once I get up and out of this thing, it's gonna be hard to get out. But in a couple minutes, I wanna get up, put on my suit, go outside, just walk around a little bit, just see what the world looks like. All right, I've got my suit on, and it is, <laughs> it is cold this morning. Well, it's definitely a winter wonderland out right now. Uh, I forgot my poor spilled coffee that I had last night. I had to toss it outside because it was just leaking all over everything. I'll dispose of it though. And my poor security cameras. <laughs> I think they got too cold either for the batteries or the cameras themselves, which I'm surprised. I thought they were rated for like outdoor cold use. But we'll see if there's any footage from that. I'm not sure. I don't think they're still running. So the security cameras only lasted about an hour out there. I thought for sure they'd go all night, but I guess it was too cold for them. It even damaged one of my SD cards. All that it captured was just some blizzardy flurries and some wind noises. Nothing too cool. Now back to the cheese box. The shelter is definitely waterproof, definitely secure. There was not a lot of snow, even though there's some snow right now. Yeah, not that much snow on it, honestly. The news was saying something like six to 10 inches last morning, and we didn't get anywhere near that. Well, let's just go walking around a little bit. It is just a cold, cold morning. The snow's really pretty though. Yeah, just how the snow coats everything. Really nice. Yeah, just the way these trees look is so pretty. It's a beautiful morning, but let's head on back to the cheese box camper. A lot of people were curious if there's like condensation on the walls, and I don't think there's any on the walls, but certain parts like this metal right here definitely have some like, uh, ice on them. I don't know if that was there already or from my breath, but uh, there's some parts like that that are just really shiny full of ice, but the walls themselves don't feel icy or wet. Now the real question of the morning is, do we still have hot water in our thermos? I mean, it's steaming. Some nice lukewarm tea. <laughs> it's better than nothing. And this is gonna be my breakfast today. Instead of having uh, pancakes like I planned, I had an MRE at like one in the morning last night and it's like a rock in my stomach right now. So I'm not really hungry. I don't really want any food. So I'm just gonna have this tea. I'm gonna relax a little bit longer and then I'm gonna pull back the shelter and it's gonna be a beautiful day. This is definitely the coldest camping experience I've ever had. And in the sleeping bag, it was wonderful. Outside of the sleeping bag, it's very cold. And it was crazy windy all last night. Uh, there was definitely a few times where the structure really got jostled. And I'm happy I have it tied down. I don't think this thing would have flipped, but it was some crazy strong winds last night. I'm sure some trees fell down in like the forest. But yeah, I'm just gonna relax and enjoy my tea and just hang out a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna pull back the shelter and it's gonna be a successful journey. Cheers. All right, Mr. Cheese Box. It's been real. It's time to head on home.
This was a very challenging video to film. A lot of my camera gear didn't like to operate in these extreme temperatures. But overall, I'm super happy with how durable and rugged the camper's been. It held up perfectly in these high winds, and I'm just happy it did. Anyways, thanks for coming on this journey with me, and I'll catch you all in the next one.